Hello and welcome to Factorio Single Belt. I'm Cretio. In this episode, we will get rid of all of the uh, all of the radars we have down here, all of this area, all of this area as well, and then plank them down in this setup instead. Both to get the wires, the uh, power, a bit better setup, and to get it more uniform. So let's start with getting rid of these uh, power poles and I guess a bit of this uh, this power setup as well. Oh, we went into the trees. Whoops. But yeah, let's do that. And this is actually the second time I've tried to record this. The first time I got a call when I had recorded for like, I don't know, what was it? Two minutes? So I thought it was easier to just uh, just delete the recording and start over. Doesn't bother me that much. Okay, stop and then we go and get rid of that. So for a small amount of time we will not have any radar coverage down here. Uh, and then I'm talking about at all down in the south. Oh, we we will need to go through here as well because I don't know how how much things have been damaged. Maybe we need to increase the amount of turrets or something like that. Oh, mm, yeah, that okay. So that is marked. It's just not picked up yet. We will get it going from the other side. I hope. I didn't get this far in the. The last recording by the way so it wasn't too bad okay there was a power pole good I guess or not not really not really good well it's good that there was a power pole not good that we did run into it okay let's have a look we have one more over here, and then we go around. Oh, is that the radar? No, oh, that's just the power pole that is actually marked for the lesion. Okay, I do not remember doing that, but uh, I guess I have done it. So let's just wait this. Sometimes we do things; they seem to be good. I think it's a good thing, but marking for the lesion without actually removing it—that's kind of annoying. Oh, I need to go a little bit further to the right to actually get the radar as well. There we go. And now the robots can catch up. Okay, so everything over here removed. Uh, not the radar to the left side of this kind of wall, but that is not the main goal of this. So I'm not going to worry about that. Yeah, robot, you have to uh, catch up, I guess. There we go. That's power pole. Oh, they have damaged a bit down here. Not too much. But enough that I want some extra protection. And I guess some, some turrets. Oh, oh but there's... A radar as well hmm yeah let's get rid of that because that's gonna be replaced and then we go up oh that's a big forest let's have a look yeah, we just go around it to the right I think we can go through here I hope we can otherwise we have to dig a path oh we can't go through, and I don't want to dig a path in this. That looks nice. These forests, they are nice, but they are kind of boring, so... I prefer, if we have to dig a path, I prefer doing it in the normal forests. Okay. Yeah, I know we don't have all of the objects for that. Uh, this we don't need. 
but what we do need is a blueprint of this full power setup. Yes, create blueprint, put it into the blueprint book, and then we have the inventory space. Let's get rid of the whole setup. That might cause power problems. And we will, of course, have to add it again later when we are finished with the, uh, the radars. But for now, I think it's the right thing to do. Get rid of everything, make sure that we get the radars, and then we can plank it down in basically the same area, but with, uh, with the correct, uh, correct placement. It might be a few tiles off. It might be actually the exact same area. Why don't you pick up this? There we go. all of those oh yeah I went too fast didn't pick up those before I went on okay that should be all of the items being picked up oh one power pole missing Okay. Oh, but they're all slow robots. Let's go back to uh, get those. And this is basically all the things, I think. Yeah, I can't see anything else. So the next thing we need to do is go up here and then up here. How do we go up here? Can we go? We can't go through over here. We have to go up here and then through. Then, yeah, there's a lot of forest at this area. Let's see, yeah, we got all of the robots. Goody. So this is where I'm, oh. This is the area that looks easiest to go through. But looking at it this close, it doesn't look that easy. Let's go slow and maybe we are able to do it. Ah, come on, let's grab that tree. There we go. Yes, we did it, kind of. No, oh, no, no, no. That's not good. Oh, we missed that power pull. I couldn't see it over, or the radar. I couldn't see it over here, so I thought it was further north. So I didn't bother. There we go, and there we go. And let's just turn around, wait for the robots. And then how do we get up? To, oh, that's bad. Let's go over here and then go up here. And then we have to walk, I think. But it looks like over here we should be able to get through if we could handle a car which we obviously can't. Oh, oh, we have already planked things down over here, apparently. Let's get rid of that and that and that one. There we go. Now all we need to do, and it sounds like it's easy, is to get all of the radars planked down. Yeah, so let's start. Well, we have this radar. Is it that is actually a radar? It is interesting. Let's start by doing some uh, some setups from that. There we go. And we probably have to come back and do fine tuning. But for now, let's just plank things down. And while the robots are working with that, let's see if we can find our way back through this opening. 
and then we need to go back up. But since we, I knew we were going to go kind of slow through that opening, I knew the robots would have a little bit of time to, to catch up. Oh! Now we got that. Let's get it done for all of the directions. There we go. Yeah, let's actually continue downwards. Down to the right. I think that's our kind of last radar over here. Yep. Oh, but we need one. We need one more going downwards from here. There we go. Oh, and they could reach. Great. And we have this. And we just plunk everything down. Yes, so we have one down here somewhere. Uh, that we will plunk down eventually, but for now Let's just go and see what we can do upwards, I think. No, let's not. Let's actually do the... Uh, oh, can we get through here? Yeah, we can. If we drive carefully. I think this is the way we went before, so... Uh, That one as well, please. There we go. Ooh. How big is this square? Oh, we need to go into the forest a little bit. Getting that one. And let's see what we can do. Well, let's get the power poles as we go by, of course. Oh, and we could even... Plank down the... Uh, oh, we need to go back to get some more space. We could even plank down the blueprints for the next area. Huh, but over here... Yeah, we should continue downwards. Both to the left and to the right. Oh, stop please. There we go, and there we go. Goody, we get all of that set up. And let's continue down to the right. Oh, wait, what? Oh, this is pretty damaged. We need uh, better defense over here, definitely. Okay, let's do this. And let's plank down a few more turrets as well. And we need power poles. Something like this and something like that. We could remove that power pole and go some... Wait. Oh, I thought that would uh, hook up. There and there. Oh, and it's it's not working here either. Okay. There we go. But I thought we would have a radar over here. No, it's down here, so we need it a little bit lower. Okay, we will fix that. Oh, but we do have uh, the radar active now. We will fix that, but let's go over to... It's hard to drive, it's even harder to drive backwards. 
Let's go over to the uh, left side and do that first. Oh, how do we? Oh, yeah, we went through here before. That shows that we can do it. And yes, we got a few robots out to do our stuff. That's what I wanted. Then we can go around. Oh, okay, we just went around. That was an easy solution. Hopefully the robots won't get too mad by me going like this. Which they might be. Does this cover? Yeah, that covers it. Great. What about the square? Where do we have the square? Oh, we have it over here. I think. Yep. So the square. Oh, we can't see on this map exactly where we have planned to place things, but it's out here somewhere. We can see kind of where it is. Okay. But let's get the square finished at least. Oh, actually we have... Oh yeah, we have, a, we have a worm in there that we don't want to kill. Well, we can kill it. It's not... It's not a big deal, but why kill it if we don't have to? Okay, so how are we on placement over here? We have that area. We need to get robots in there to do the stuff. This is a pretty dense forest. There we go. Now let's have a look. We should have... Hmm. I thought we, we should have like one more setup over here. Oh, but it's in the cliffs. Damn it. And we need to move this this wall to actually have space for this. Let's see if we can set this radar up anyway. Uh, maybe set it up manually. Oh, but we need to go further down. We kind of knew that already. Not that, wait, where are we? What's happening? Something is off. Oh, we have a radar over there that I didn't remove. I think this is the right setup. Or is it? It might be that we have done all of this wrong. Okay, let's not worry about this right now. Let's go up and then we solve the rest of this kind of area. And then we go back to, to this uh, lower part when we have done the part that should be difficult. Oh, we don't actually have any power for that because of Missing power pole over here by the cliffs. That sounds that sounds kind of okay. But let's add more. There we go. And we can continue down here to get some more uh, some more power. Oh, 
I thought I was far enough to the left to get those power poles as well. We really should plank down this over here as well. Let's do that. I mean, why not? What do we have to lose? More than the game. Nah, we won't lose the game for doing this. But we, we will not win it either. Okay, we need to go all the way out there. That means we need to move this, move this wall down a bit. But we can do that. Maybe we have to move it so to get like over here and then on the south part of this lake or even all the way to this lake. But if that's the case, then we just do it. That shouldn't be a problem. Hmm, where is the missing... Oh, it's by the cliffs up here. The missing connection. be kind of there and there there and oh this was a bad placement there is that correct no it's still not straight What about now? Yes, this is straight. This have to go up or to the right, one step. And then that should be straight as well. Oh. Oh, that was already planked down, so. Wait, what? This isn't straight. Have to go left. Hmm. Maybe I planked it on two power poles. Or do we have a non-straight line anywhere? No. No, this seems to be okay. Okay, let's go back into the car and continue. Oh, maybe we should have a look. What do we do next? I think this line and this line. Yes. That, that should be connected, yes. And we don't have any connections upwards, so let's just get that in place. And we get this one, I guess. How about... That is not perfectly set up. Um, we should actually make it kind of perfectly set up. Let's go for this as well, and then we just go up. We should make sure to get that up to the left as well. There we go. Oh, no. Trees are in the way. Okay, come back to me then, robots, if you want to. Oh, that was planked on. I thought that was a ghost image. Oops. Okay, so this and then this, I guess. And this one, yeah. We have a few. Oh, and then we have radars in here that we could possibly remove. We have a few areas still to connect. Oh, we have this down to the right as well. We should do that one. I think that's the most important one right now. 
And it seems we have planked everything down. How do we get over there? Oh, we drive from below. From the south, there is a small path. Whoops. Destroy a hundred trees by impact. Yep, I didn't mean to. But we surely uh, got that. I did not want it in this series, but so what? And those robots take care of the last bits of that power, power cable and it is connected to the the idea right now is to have one power cable going around for all of the turrets and all of that and then we hook it into this square area that we have that connects everything a little bit better well possibly not better a little bit more at least. Whoops. There we go. And we have all of that co uh, connected and solved. So now let's go. Yeah, let's go here and then we go to the right. And then when we get over here or over here, we just connect it to the power. On the, on the defense line. What did we say? We need to go to the left. Oh, but to do that we need to go up. It's a little bit hard to see. But yeah, oh, down below this. And then we have the square. Or the radar over here. And then we have planked out things up here for the next set. Good day. Then we just plank this down and wait for the robots. Let's see that we get all of the robots. Yep. 100 robots, that's exactly what we expect. And we get all of the robots back. We have that planked down. Why is this? Oh, it's not straight because the power line goes from there to this one, not to this one. That is kind of okay. It's not really okay, but it's kind of okay. So now let's have a look. There we go. And there we go. And let's start going to the left. Just because that will be the easiest part of it, I think. Hmm, yeah, it's about here. That's not... We can't do anything about that. Well, we can move all of the radars. But that's not the goal of this. The goal of this is to set up surveillance. And that we can get without moving all of the uh, all of the radars. Oh. Okay, so let's go up and then down. And then we can go over here. Actually, we will continue up like around here and then, yeah. Somehow we will make sure to get all of it. There we go. I thought it would be way harder to do that. To get the... Uh, especially this area. Oh, but it looks like we don't have the north ones set up over here. So let's get that. Do we have everything? Yes, we do. I think we have to come from over here to get into this area and this area. 
So let's hmm. Yeah, let's do this line and this line and then we go through and get this line. And then we go and do this and this. Hopefully that works out. And hopefully I, rem I remember what I said I wa was about to do. There we go. Oh yeah, and this was the easy way through, was it? It was, oh. Okay, let's zoom in and see if we can actually get through here. I think we can. But let's get the small path. It's way easier that way. Way, way easier. Okay, can we connect one power pole to connect all of that? Yes, we can. There we go. That all connects. I don't think we need to continue up here with squares. And then we need to go over here to do the same. And that one we need to go up as well. This is not going to be easy. Oh, have you seen here? We have a small area of uranium ore. How much is there? In total there 2.3k, which is... Oh, this is kind of damaged. 2.3k uh, of uranium. I guess that is actually quite a bit let's get a little bit better defense over here mm. that that and then we go over here and we get some power poles and we should be able to solve it next time. Hopefully they don't succeed in getting through. Oh, they have damaged up here as well. That's not good. That could lead to some real problems. I don't expect them to go through here. How are we on everything? Yeah, we should go through and take out the space. Let's do that. Let's get power pole and another one and then we should be able to, oh, let's plunk stuff down first, four of those and power pole and then we go. And then we hope that the uh, robots will get there before the biters have time to react. Yes, they did. Oh, there was a, s a large base connected to that smaller one that I wanted to take out. Oops. There we go, and there we go. Let's take out this larger base as well. It's always fun taking out bases. I'm just planking down a few power poles to get some. Hopefully that doesn't, yeah. To get some uh, turrets back. I don't even know if we have enough turrets to be able to take that base out, but we will try. And we have the defense at least. more turrets oh we need another turret on top because there are loads of uh, biters going from over there and then let's go 
in and take out the base. Let's grab that and that and then we should have enough enough turrets to be able to take out the rest of the space. I think we do at least. Maybe not, but we have some ammo, personal ammo as well that we can use, and that should stop the attacks on our defense. It should at least. Okay, is everything picked up? Yes, it looks like it. So we just go back. The robots will keep up, that's no problem. Or they won't, and then I will stop. Goody, everything done. We shouldn't get a lot of more attacks over here, but let's go up here and have a look. Maybe we will walk over there, actually. It seems a bit hard to get up there otherwise. can get through over here. Let's do that. Wait, what? Oh, do we have power problems now? This is blinking and I don't... Unless we have power problems... Oh, we do have power problems. That is kind of fair. Oh, I was probably a bit lucky that we didn't run out of power while attacking. Because the, uh, the steam engines have been running the whole night. Yeah, grabbing all of those solar panels that we had have created kind of a problem. But now what we need is to connect this to the wall. One power pole and two power poles and yeah now we have the uh, now we have power again let's see we should be able to get this at least and the other one let's have a look yeah the other one we could get from the other side so we need to find our way out again and go from this side getting this and this and connect that one and then we only have this left, I think. Okay. There we go. Oh, there's something over here that we haven't connected. I thought that was finished. Well, we we're kind of lucky that I went there. Oh, I should wait for the robots. Kind of lucky that I went there. And just, yeah. I, I thought that was the way to get out. What did we say? It was... Yeah, this line up here. Oh, how can we get through that one? We, we basically have to go around this forest. Let's see, one more, there we go, yes. And now we can get through, uh, get around. We just want all, all of our robots back. Zoom out. Well, it's already as zoomed out as it can be. I would actually wish for the, the ability to zoom out even more. Oh, and we have no research going on. Uh, that is kind of intentional, kind of not. This intentional in the way that we stopped it intentionally, but I have forgotten to start it again. That's the way it's not intentional. Oh, 
there we go. Now we should have all of the wires up here. Great. Now we need to connect this. That's already connected. And then we need to go to the left. Great. I think there was an easy way of doing it over here. Yeah. Not a lot of, uh, of forests. How do we get back to the left? Well, we can go up here and around and then down. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, there are a few trees over here that could become a problem. But it's only a few trees, so that shouldn't be the biggest issue. Yep, this is where we want to go. And oh! Oh, oh, oh! oh. I wasn't sure we had marked out these. So that's why I started with the blueprint, and then I just got confused and tried to abort and uh, stop the car and everything and everything went wrong <laughs> oh yeah this isn't connected let's get the blueprint to get this connected over there and get this connected on top and then we go of course go down and uh, make sure that we get most of the stuff planked down there we go all of the robots now there we go yep yeah. So next, wait, what is this line? Oh, that is actually a line. So get this one, get the connection up, and then we are finished. Yeah, we, we need that one, yes. Those robots will solve most of our problems. We need, or oh, need and need, I don't know. We don't need it, but we want another connection over here. And that should basically be it. Of course, we don't have the same connection by our base as we have out here, but that that is kind of okay. We don't need the exact same setup. But now we have three sets of power lines. We need to go out and get that done. But one around the perimeter. Oh yeah, we have the uh, these radars down here that we need to worry about as well. Hmm. But oh, three sets of power lines, one around the perimeter, one for the turrets, and one for the railroad. And together, I think those should be more than enough. But yes, we need to go down and handle the... Uh, handle the uh, soft part. But to do that, I think we want... Oh have nothing connect to do that i think we want a few more turrets but let's see we have a lot of things on the belt what is the actual problem it might be that we have an actual problem instead of just slow production and i think we actually do have an actual problem hmm Let's go to the right to see what we are missing for, like the turrets and the... Yeah, the turrets. Batteries. But we do have 280. Why do we request 500? 
let's request 250 turrets instead. Then we have all of the turrets we need. For the uh, for the solar panels, electronic circuits. Uh, come on. We don't have green circuits, no. And for uh, accumulators, it's batteries, but they have been used by the turrets, so that's not surprising at all. What more? Batteries, train stops, train stuff, basically. And ammo. Oh yes, ammo. What is the problem over here? It's the firearm magazine. And that the iron plate is the problem for that. Or is it? No. Okay, so this we are just constructing, but a little bit slowly. I'm thinking that we change this from Z to Y. That should, I think that should work out. Then we shouldn't get a lot of stuff onto the belt. Oh, wait, that was the wrong, uh, the wrong setup. It's this one, which is here. That we want to set from Y to uh, Z to Y. Yeah, that seems to be about right. And then we have all of the uh, all of the train stuff. Well, it seems that it's green circuits. Just looking at it, we don't have a lot of green circuits on the belt. Can we do something about that? But we do get some green circuits that gets through which is kind of interesting green circuits v yeah we don't want it to go faster than v i think or do we we could we could change it to u yeah that that seems to be about what we want to do right now But the problem right now is that we want to produce all that we have ordered. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, all of the train stuff except the rails. Hmm. Why do we have problem with rails? Oh, you can't. You can't go into the assembly machine. Okay. Why is there a problem with rails? I mean, we don't have a lot at all. Because of the iron sticks. There's plenty of iron sticks passing by. I don't buy it. That's not a problem. Oh, the problem is that we haven't set up the inserters. Oops. Is it the same for... No, it's the same for all of the rail stuff. We haven't set up the inserters. Okay, that is fair enough. I have to say, if you don't set up the inserters, how could you ever expect it to work? And for the uh, for the concrete, this is definitely definitely enough. We have a small. We only have 127 positive concrete. What have we set it to? Minus two two k. And it's like one k. Oh, it's one k in a chest. Okay, let's make a steel chest instead. 
clunk it on. But then we need to have a look down here. Yes. Remove the remove the concrete from this. Oh maybe nah, we don't need hazard concrete and we don't need a lot of landfill. But let's pick up all of this concrete. Let's keep it. And we can start doing, uh, constructing roads. I think we have solved most of the problems over here now. So all that we need is a few more laser turrets. Then we can go out and do our last things. That should be enough to, to expand and get a few bases uh, removed. Okay, so we just have to go back down. Do we have everything else we need? We have robots, we have repair packs, and we have power poles. Oh, we should get rid of all of the raw wood that we have. We need more walls. Walls, that's... Where do we have walls? Oh, it's over here. Two and a half thousand, why? Two, oh, walls, wait, walls, we don't need more than a uh, thousand. But we do want like a thousand on us right now. So that should be it. That should be all that we need right now. And we can go out and fight another day. Uh, anything else that we want to get rid of or anything? No, I think this is fine. Oh, I thought I was standing the other way around going upwards instead of down damn it at least I didn't break the comp the whole uh, power setup but we need to get some power set up over here as well I think this is enough to go oh yeah, that connects everything. We do need a power over here, but that's not for now. And over here, I guess, but that's not for now. Right now, we are going to go and fight some biters over here, expanding our area a bit. Okay, hopefully we can go by the uh, by the railroad all of the way down. Well, of course the railroad stops, but apart from that, oh, by the way, we might want to plank down a bit of concrete. Five, is that enough? Nah, let's go for seven. Hmm, let's have a look. Okay, let's get rid of a few trees just by the entrance. Oh. And then let's have another look. If we go like this, and then we go... This general setup. No, no, damn it. Okay, I know the problem. It does look way wider when you go diagonally. So what we should what we should do is not that. What we should do Oh What we should do 
is to get a bit of a line over here. Let's go for blueprint for concrete. Yes, create that. We need more concrete to continue. Let's actually grab a bit of this. There we go. But we still need more to make a diagonal that is about the same width. Yeah, everything done. Oh, okay, let's fill this in. And then we don't have, we have 68 concrete. That's not enough. That's enough for like one square of uh, seven by seven. A little bit more, but that's just a small, small bit more. Oh yeah, I forgot. I want to remove that radar. I shouldn't be needing it. Ideally we want radar over here instead, but that's when we go and take the left side as well. Which will wait a little bit of time before we get there. Oh yeah, that's good that you uh, you repair as we are going. Yeah, I haven't set up any auto repair anywhere. And that might come back and uh, give us some problems. If it does, at least we know what the problem is. Okay, so over here we want the radar. Well, since we are in our core and we are we do have all of the resources. Let's go and handle that. Can even go on the left side, yeah. Oh no. Don't want to... Uh... Wait, what? Wasn't it... Oh, it was further down was it yeah, it was done here oh yeah but there's a base pretty close to that let's get the robots back and then we go for it oh that's not the base that's uh That's, well, it is technically a base. There is one worm. But let's do that to get... Oh. Okay, let's plank everything down to get the, the worm removed. There we go. And then we have two radars instead of one. Handle that by those. That's what you get when you... When you mess with me. Oh, there's a poor robot trying to get back to me. Here I am. That's the last robot, I think. Oh, uh, let's get the, the power pole down here connected as well. That way we have one, one radar set up on the left side. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, they can actually remove and set up the radar. Which is nice, but how do we how do we connect to that? Well we need to go down and then to the left, I think. So we basically need to take out a few bases. Let's go out and do that. Mm. If we get gate, and of course we have the power from this to be to be able to use. Oh yeah, I haven't checked the power situation. It might... Oh, it's not good. I mean, we can only attack during daytime. Otherwise, we will get into problems. Oh, this one we should be able to take out without needing a lot of turrets. There we go. And just load a uh, Bytos back and they will be killed automatically that will be killed goody so all we need basically oh we probably want to get rid of this base as well yeah we definitely want to get rid of this base um, There we go, that should be it. Well, it shouldn't. That should be taking care, taking care of the attack, but then we need a few more turrets to take care of the base. There we go, that should be it. And yes, some biters are attacking from afar. Let the first ones attack. Once the next blue have been beaten, let's collect the turrets again. Yeah, there we go. Base is taken care of. Okay, that's where we are attacking. It is kind of okay that they uh, do borders over there. At least it's expected. We have to remember we have no power over here. Maybe we should be make sure to get some power where we are going. Just to make sure that if we need to, we can release some laser turrets on the Bytos. Oh, of course, it wasn't connected. I was... I got a bit worried. But yeah, we don't have enough... Uh, enough solar panels. We should plank that down while we are down here as well. I should have uh, grabbed a few more solar panels to be honest. But I forgot. We should go from here down and then to the right. There we go. Now let's have a look at the map. Yeah, that looks kind of okay. We have it connected properly. And now let's go for the other direction. Oh, but we can't we can't get the turrets in position. That's that's no go then. The turrets or the most important part of this. Well, I don't know really if the turrets or the walls are the most impor important part. Let's go far enough to the left. 
get the south on turret. I think we should go over here. Then we would be able to get one more turret. Yeah, let's do that. That should be it, I think. Let's have a look. Oh. Yes, that's it. And then we just rotate, plank down this one, and we need a few extra walls. There we go. Yeah, the problem is that there is a small gap where the biters could attack over here. But what can we do about it? Well, a lot if we want to, really. And we have our power. Hmm, how big is this space? Do we want to take it out? Yes. Will we take it out? Hmm, that's, that's the question. And I have to say, yes, we will. Oh, I thought that would be a defensive setup only. And I didn't even check the time of day before attacking. Oops. Well, this shouldn't be too big. Neither to take down nor to handle. I mean, it's not a huge base. There we go, take this one out as well, please. There we go, we have to take care of a few of the power poles. And now we should be able to just continue building towards the right. The thing is, this height of the radar, we need the next radar to be in, in the same height. Oh, do we have everything connected? Yeah, I think so. I, f I do think so. I don't know. Okay, uh, what do we need to do? To get rid of these turrets, get rid of that power pole, plank down another power pole to connect the turret to the wall. Have a look at the power, it looks pretty good. And then the side. Over here we want the next. Let's just go to the right. That's the only way to go, I think. And let, let's not remove this until we have gotten this wall in place. The cliffs are actually kind of annoying. I thought they would be just fun. But they are kind of annoying. And then I'm not talking about this small power problem because that's... That's just something we have to manually fix. And that should be, oh, another one. Okay, we plank it down there then. Let's remove that. Oh, we do have a bunch of stone. Let's grab those. Okay, uh, continue. Continue. Oh. Do we have. Yeah, we have that blueprint we can remove. And then we can get two sets instead of one. That's not good. Let's get two sets over here to have the wall cover everything. 
I would go. Hmm. I don't think we planked this stone to have the next uh, next uh, do, 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 do. what are they called again? They are called radars. We didn't plank it down to have the next radar. And we have a problem over here. We don't have the, the power pole. Okay, so another power pole that was on the cliffs. Is that straight? No, it's not. It needs to go down by one. That's straight. And then we just need one more. I think that's it. Maybe up by one. Yes, up by one. There we go. Yes, that's it. So we need to go in here to get the the setup for this marked out. Okay. Fair enough. Where is it? It's okay, it's above the lake. We want to go from the right side of the lake. Uh, otherwise we will get shot by the worm, which isn't necessarily a really bad thing, but why should we accept it when we don't have to? Oh, that was that. This is the one we want. Oh, it might already have been uh, planked down, actually. It looks like it. Oh yeah, there we go. And there we go with that. We need to fix the... Oh, that's a lot of robots all of a sudden. But we need to fix some uh, turrets over here as well. Let's go for turrets over there and turrets over there and then just connect them with nice uh, power pole or a few nice power poles maybe oh wait we have a base right here yeah I forgot to take care of the bases as we went whoops uh, let's handle bases then this base and then we need to go back to the left to handle a couple more bases Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those will be taken care of, and I can go and take that spawner down before they attack me. Too bad, at least. And when they attack me, I just retreat, and they get shot by the turrets. Let's have a look. I want to take out this base and this base as well. Uh, the other bases? Nah, not that much. Doesn't really matter. Okay. And yeah, we can go from here to take out this space. That seems to be a good idea. Oh, power situation, please. Oh, we do have a bit of uh, accumulator charge and it's still daytime. 
So let's just do it like this. Where, where are they uh, destroying things right now? I do know that we don't have the perfect power setup. But we should be able to take this base down. Oh yes. Okay, that should be all of those. When I say all of those, I mean all of those bases that we want to take down, remove all of that, and then continue to, towards the right. So this have turned into an episode of uh, Fighting Baitos. I was not planning that, but I'm not saying it's wrong in any way. It is fun sometimes to uh, to anger the Baitos. Let's oh, we should have waited for all of the robots to charge, but we are far enough away that it doesn't matter. Okay, let's do this attack quickly to make sure that we still have a bit of charge in all accumulators when we do this attack. Because I'm thinking that we have power problems. Well, not yet, and we do have a, a fair bit of accumulator charge. Okay, that one. Let's continue with the wall. Uh, we should plank this down again to see where the next goes over here. And then of course we need to go another way with the power poles. But we also, we are missing, oh yeah, we are missing power poles over here in this diagonal. Oh, there we go, okay. But this diagonal, let's see, that's straight. That's not straight. I don't think we can make this diagonal straight. Is that straight? No. Okay. Let's just do it like that. It's, it's not straight, but it works. And then go up, get this marked to get the next power, uh, the next, uh, what do you call, what do you call it? The next uh, radar in the right spot. Oh, it's not this power pole, it's this power pole we have to look at. And yes, there's a big lake in the way can't do much about that. Well, we can uh, remove it if we want to. I just don't think we want to. Oh, there's a big bite of base over here. Let's hope they are not attacking yet. Oh, it's not a big base, by the way. It's just a small base, but it's big enough that we have to run from it if they, if and when they attack. Oh, and we didn't make sure that we got everything planked down before they attack. Run, run, run. Yeah, that kind of worked out. Okay. I might have gotten a damaged turret. But this is the last radar we need, I think. 
yeah that radar will cover this square and we don't need to go further so we basically need to get rid of this base and a few bases over here which we won't do right now we will wait until the morning but we need to get the power for the radar Oh, yeah, let's repair this. I don't think that's straight. Nah. Let's forget about it being straight over there. That should be it. And then what happens if we remove this? Do those. Why the. I thought those two power poles would connect up. Please tell me it's connecting up now. Yes, it is. Do we need to wait with that? Nah, we can. Yeah, let, let's wait. We have some turrets still working. Most of them not, but it doesn't matter. We basically need to go. Oh, if we go up here, yeah, that that actually works. Otherwise, we should go. Let's see all the way there and go up here, and then we will miss the the shoreline. Yeah, go up here. That works. might be good it might be bad i simply don't know i'm thinking about doing that to get a few extra turrets but mostly oh we need to get this properly set up it is but we need power for this one. That's easy enough. Okay, so now we have some kind of defense in the in the corner, and we are going up to get this fixed. And let's have a look. We ha oh, we don't have a power between these. We should add that. Apart from that, we just need to take down this old wall, and it seems we have everything. Oh, we need power over here. That we need. And then we want... We want the gate, and we want to take down... Uh, take down some bases. Is that six, seven big ones? It's a lot of them at least. Enough that we didn't want to go easy on them. Okay, we have a bit of charge, but it is getting towards night time, so let's attack fast. Let's wait. And then, of course, I'm gonna attack fast. Should we take. Yeah, let's take this base down as well. We hopefully have enough time to do that. Oh, there are small uh, worms in this than I was hoping for. And we are out of turrets. No. No, no, no. I was not counting on that becoming a problem. The turrets we had... We're able to take most of the things out. One spawner, but that's that's not a real problem. But that could have been bad. We don't need to take this base down. We want this base, and I think that's enough. But let's get all of the turrets back. Well, all of the ones we are not using at least. 
getting all of that, getting all of this, and this. Oh, I'm walking fast enough that uh, the robots can't deliver things to me, and I'm not waiting for them to actually collect everything. That's not a good idea. But yeah, now we get everything. Let's collect all of the uh, all of the robots. Oh, so we had 130 turrets planted down. Oh, I, I was thinking, why don't we have power? But it's because we have a power shortage. And the radars are not the main problem. The radars is somewhere after at least turrets, which is as it should be. It's annoying me that we don't get more power from steam engines than we do. Sometimes we get a bit, but most of the time we don't get enough. We might have to do something about that. But for now, let's have a quick look. Yeah, we have a little bit. We have a little bit of accumulator charge, which is enough to take out the base. Not to take out the base in a a really large base or taking out the base in style or anything but just taking it out and I'm not feeling like doing it in style right now I just want it to be removed there we go let's take all of the turrets down and yeah, let's wait for all of the robots. How many robots have they destroyed? 36 left. Uh, 50 and 36, of course. So, a fair bit of robots destroyed, but that's kind of expected. How are we on radars now? We have all of the radars on the south. We have, we have this square of radars, and it seems like everything is planted down. Except this power line, we need to take care of the uh, take care of the walls and also some power power lines. But let's do this, let's do that, and let's do that. That should be all we need. Oh, 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 oh! No, that wasn't what I meant. I didn't want to grab that power pole. I want that to remain. Then we have everything over there. The walls to the right, those should remain. This wall we should get rid of. There's really no reason to keep it, so let's get rid of it. There we go. It would be good if you had a delete function in the uh, in the blueprint. Say delete exactly what's in the blueprint. Because I don't. I don't want to remove all of the trees. I just want to remove the turrets and the power poles and the walls. Having a delete functionality would help out with that quite a lot. And no, I haven't suggested it to the developers. I just came to think about it. And I don't, f uh, I don't think it could be added in an easy to use way. So I don't think it's a good idea to add it actually. But I would like it nonetheless. But I don't think it should be added. Okay, oh, this wall, that's a problematic wall. But now we have the ability to see our whole base for the first time ever, I think. We can see the complete base, 
including all power poles, all uh, the health for everything and so on. Oh yeah, we have to find our way out of here as well to get to the top of the cliffs. Okay, let's get all of the robots back. When you move too far, I think it's better to get them back because then they are about to run out of charge. And you don't want that to happen. Oh, there's our car. And that we want to remove. Remove these. And remove these. And we should be set. Oh, what? Let's get rid of this space. <laughs> That's in the middle of where I'm... Uh, well, I'm actually doing stuff. Oh, we do need to extend this power line as well. Let's go back to the car. And, uh, no, we are actually close by. Let's get rid of that. And then we can, we can better see how far we can go. There we go. And there we go. That's about what I needed. So in this episode, we will not set set anything up with roads, not more than we already have. Um, that should be enough to get based on, I think. No, it won't be, because we don't have... Uh, the distance to reach all of the worms. That should be it. Good deal. That base taken care of. And soon enough I think that we will attack to the left. Oh, and then we will of course go straight to the left with this, this uh, wall, I guess. There doesn't seem to be any reason to go through this lake anymore. This wall... It does seem to line up with this area, which is great if it does. Have we missed or forgot about anything now? Let's have a quick look. We have all of this. Well, it looks a bit strange in places because there are stuff in the way. But we have it set up. We have the radar coverage. We have everything connected to the walls. We have the power line through the walls. This. We don't have this one. Actually, probably we have this marked out to set the next uh, turret. Uh, radar, I mean set that in an easy way. Let's keep these power lines. I was thinking about removing them, but nah, let's keep them for now. We will remove them when we get to that area. For now, let's just go back to the base, see if everything have been produced, and add that uh, one power line. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit damaged, but it's not too bad. We don't have to worry too much. The question is also, should we set up uh, roboports and automatic uh, repair? And honestly, I don't know. Oh. We are using, okay, we are using so much iron that we aren't mining it fast enough. We should definitely in the next episode 
go and set up iron mining over here to have one train in each area. But that's for, well, at least in a future episode. If that's the next episode or some other episode, but we should definitely do it. We still have a few things on the belt. Why? Why, why? Still complaining about turrets and... Oh, oh okay. Now we do have a few turrets that we want to give back. Actually, let's put the turrets over here instead to get them returned sooner. And we could even go up and return a lot of walls. Yeah, we don't need more than one stack of walls in our inventory. And we don't need a lot of... Oh, I forgot about one thing that we actually need to, to do immediately. If I wait until the next episode, I will forget it. That's why we need it immediately. And that is the power production. So, oh, the solar panels. We should pick up all of the solar panels we have, that we have produced to be able to, to plank down as much as possible. Maybe everything, but probably not. Oops. That's one power pole, and I managed to hit it. Yes! Yeah, 400. That's... Yeah. 5, 600, 50, 687. I think we, are, we need 647 or 48. So I think we have all of the solar panels we need. And that will help out quite a lot with our power problems. Well, hopefully it should solve the power problems and just give us possibly power issues. Oh, I forgot about, I forgot about power poles over here as well. Okay, let's do it like this. First get the power poles. Let's remove those and oh, that's what I wanted to do. Where's the square? Oh, we can get this one. Get the square. Then we have this radar in the perfect location for the square. And we just plank down a power pole as well. Then we have this in the... Okay, so we have this whole rectangle, all of the, uh, all of the radars in the perfect positioning. Great. Now we need to get the power under control. So let's go down to basically the same area we had it in before. Why did I park the car all the way over there? That doesn't make much sense. Oops. Let's have a look. It's over here. Oh, the uh, the radar have moved a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. They fight a bit. That's okay. 
But yeah, about here, we could basically plank it down in the same position, I guess. Possibly removing the uh, the big power poles. But how do we get here? Okay, go down, down, go past that, and then go up and around. Yep. That's it. Oh, if we have the ability, let's go to the... Uh, ah, no, 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 no. Let's go to the other side of this train line. Because then we can go by and repair everything in this outpost as we as we pass by. What about next? Oh, that's not the one we needed to repair. Whoops. Well, it doesn't matter. We got it repaired. That's a good thing. It's easier to drive over here. Not as many small dead trees in the way. More power poles though. There. And then we go up and around if I remember it correctly. Yep, pass by the oil stuff, around, and this is the gen the general area. Let's remove these power poles, shall we? We will be able to connect it, and we will make sure it's connected anyway. Just not to those power poles. Okay, so there is exactly one square we could place it. Okay, so standing in the middle over here will connect or will uh, plunk everything down. Do we have? Accumulators. Yes, we do. So we just have to wait for a bit. I don't know if it will automatically connect up to the grid. Or if we have to do that manually. Okay, so we are placing enough that the, uh, the robots will have to charge. Oh, and we don't have a lot of charge in our pack. They will hopefully be able to manage with whatever we have. I'm thinking about going down here. Get that connected, please. Just wanted to see how it connects up over here. I think we will have to do something. Oh. Something like that. And I know I didn't have to do it perfectly, but I could, so I did. Okay, let's let's help the robots out as much as we can. I think we are more causing problems for the robots than helping them out. No. Because they have to uh, they have to fly to keep up with us. And the ones that doesn't have any charge, they have a problem with that. Okay, let's get into the into the crossing. Oh no, 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 no. Let's continue with this for a bit more. Just a bit more. 
just want to get up to the north east part upper right part of this to be able to connect the this side as well Oh, why didn't I do that manually? <laughs> it is square at least, so that's good. Let's get most of the robots back. Oh, we don't have any, any more charge right now. Then let's move again. Let's move to this location. Then most of the stuff should be able to be built and yeah, it's a few stuff over here and a few over here and then everything is, is finished. The only problem of course being that we don't have a lot of electricity in our personal roboports. So the robots need to get back and charge and that could be bit of a problem but we just have to wait by the way I plan that when this is finished I will end the episode so if you don't want to wait for the robots to charge please leave the episode now and you don't have to uh, have to stay for the boring part oh it's basically finished now okay then then I'm gonna say thank you a lot for watching, see you next time, bye!